TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we got a, a bit of a mixed bag out here. The Dow off 110. S&P is down 5. We got the NASDAQ 100 up 15. The Russell 2000, another big day, up 1%, 24 points. That is the semis are up 12. Trend is back 318 points. That's a big move lower. You've got gold trading down $27, silver off 30 pennies, lights be crude off 271. What does all of this mean? Well, let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini in the upper left hand corner. Now, there's certainly A to B equals CD patterns out here, so you'd be watching for a bearish reversal candle should one form today. That could identify a short term top. Your level of support, though, right now is the top of its daily profile, old resistance. That could become new support. And that's at the 4590 level. Spot volatilix, you can see it's rising bottoms pattern out here, even though we're just looking at the uh, candlesticks. It's still below the 50-day exponential moving average, so the wind is at the back of the S&P 500. But that rising bottoms pattern just says, hmm, uh, more than something to think about. If we take a look at the NQ out here, continuing to move higher, it too, if it regenerated a bearish reversal candle, that would identify at least a short-term top and suggest perhaps a pull back to the top of its profile as well. That's at 15,483. We do not have that message, by the way. Just something for you to be watching come the end of today's trading session. U.S. dollar index still trading above the top of its daily profile, even though it's got a Rhodes momentum indicator top out there. So what that means is the signal is really neutral. Gold is not neutral. Gold is trading below the bottom of its weekly profile. That will become more important on Friday than it is today on Wednesday. But that number is 1774.60. But price has also gotten back inside the daily level. So watch 1768.20. If price closes below that, that could signal move back to the 1734, 1748 level for gold. Silver closed below the bottom of its daily profile yesterday, so its target becomes the center of its weekly level, and that's at the 2282 area. Light read crude sounded like a big move down. It was $2 and change out there. Not that that's not a big move, but we always need to know where is support. In this case here, support is the bottom of its daily profile, and that's priced at 8124. Price is traded at 8121. Now, if you look at that chart in the lower left, you'll see that the last time that Lightspeed Crude closed below the bottom of the daily profile was August the 18th out there. That says it closed below 81.24 today. What that could be signaling to you and I is a short-term change in trend. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon.